welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing fantastic this morning and we'll be talking about that sort of a mess we're seeing. So there is an area of low pressure uh, within this region here and as a result we're seeing all of this activity. These white dots, they indicate lightning strikes and there's been some periods of heavy rain across some areas. Winds are also kicking up across the Caribbean so we'll be talking about all of that. So as the cold front associated with this low pressure area further up to the north is going to be moving through the Caribbean, it is going to be resulting in quite a bit of impact, such as periods of heavy rain, uh, winds coming from the west that may be gusting well over tropical storm force, those very rough seas up to a couple of meters in the northwestern Caribbean, and also as the boundary passes, there is going to be that cool down across the region so let's go ahead and talk about it first things first though we're taking a look at the forecast for the saharan dust because it is still around in the eastern caribbean so this is the forecast for later this morning there we see those brown shadings which are indicating the dust uh, across parts of the lesser antilles virgin islands in the vicinity of hispaniola and even towards parts of south america and the abc Island. So the dust is still around, but as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, things should be clearing up somewhat for the Lesser Antilles for the most part, but uh, it is still expected to be loitering around uh, parts of the ABC Islands, South America, and we see a lot still out there across the Atlantic headed towards the African coast. But as we're going to be heading into Wednesday night, take a look at this. Because of that cold front, which is going to be making its way through, it is going to be resulting in the dissipation of some of this dust across the Caribbean and the wind direction is also changing. So even this large quantity out here, not going to be entering uh, so easily. And it is unlikely that it's going to be a weak one because it may result in quite a bit of rain across the northeastern Caribbean islands, which includes the Virgin Islands, maybe even Puerto Rico and parts of the Lesser Antilles. Now we're going on to the satellite imagery and uh, here we see that there isn't anything too crazy happening in the Caribbean right now as it relates to widespread heavy rainfall activity. So yes, there are a few patches of clouds here and there. However, as I said, the winds have been kicking up across the region. So across most of the islands, the Lesser Antilles, uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, even parts of Hispaniola, the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, ABC Islands, and offshore Central America, winds are kicking up. And uh, through much of the Caribbean, Winds are coming from the south, so because of that area of low pressure further up north, winds are coming from the south. However, uh, there is going to be a change in the wind direction as we head into tonight and tomorrow for the northwestern Caribbean islands. As it relates to the rainfall forecast from Euro, this goes out to the rest of today and here we're seeing some of these very colorful shadings across parts of the northern Caribbean. We're also seeing Florida, the Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos. Islands. So especially within that region near the Turks and Caicos Islands, there could be some very substantial rainfall up to two or even three inches of rain throughout the rest of today and into tomorrow. And for parts of the southern Bahamas, up to two inches possible for sure. And also seen that for the northwestern section of Haiti. Elsewhere, we're seeing some of these red and these orange shadings. So overall, there could be under an inch or just over an inch of rainfall and accumulation across parts of eastern Cuba, sections of Jamaica as well. So there may be some periods of some decent rainfall, but this may not be widespread across the entirety of the island. And then up towards Florida, parts of the northern Bahamas, similar story, where there could be some decent rainfall activity there. Towards the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and even for parts of the Leeward Islands from Anguilla through to the vicinity of around, say, uh, Montserrat, Antigua right there, it is likely that there may be some passing showers, but maybe not anything too crazy. And then from Guadeloupe going southward through Trinidad and Tobago, it should be dry for the most part, but there still may be a passing shower or so. ABC Island should be mostly dry today. Looking towards northern South America, Colombia, Venice, uh, parts of western Venezuela, there could be some substantial rainfall. That rainfall chance decreases as we head over into the Guyanas, but there could be some shower activity regardless. Same story for much of Central America, although Belize and the Keys should pretty much be in the clear of any rainfall 
activity as we head through today. Taking a look at the wind forecast. So as we're going to be heading into later this evening, we're seeing some of those green shadings popping up across parts of the uh, northwestern Caribbean, right in the Yucatan Channel, and even some of those dark blues as well. So those winds are likely to be well over 30 knots or up to around 35 miles per hour, even going up to 40 miles per hour. And gusts are likely to be even stronger than that, over 60 miles per hour. That is very, very uh, intense. That is enough to do some damage, uh, cause some down trees and even some down power lines as well. So because of the winds that will be kicking up in parts of the Northwest Caribbean, there may be some instances of power outages across some areas. So don't be surprised if your power goes because of the very strong winds that will be blowing through those gale force winds and also as we look towards the eastern caribbean winds are going to be kicking up there as well it's going to remain quite windy we're seeing those dark purple and blue shadings so winds mostly over 20 knots or so throughout the lesser antilles and even towards the virgin islands puerto rico and even up into the bahamas and the turks and caicos islands as well Heading into tomorrow evening and even going towards Wednesday, we're seeing that it's going to remain very windy across the Caribbean. And with that, those seas are going to be quite rough. So we're looking at what Euro is showing here and we're seeing some of these red shadings indicating those wave highs up to around 15 feet in parts of the Gulf and even the northwestern Caribbean. That is over four meters, around four uh, four and a half meters or so and uh, as we're going to be heading further into the week though conditions are going to be improving but still going to be very active out there with those seas up to around six seven or even eight feet across the caribbean and even higher offshore the southeastern u.s and in the vicinity of bermuda finally we're moving on to the cool down so this is a forecast for tomorrow morning and here we are seeing all these blue shadings which indicate that temperatures are going to be below normal so a couple degrees celsius cooler than usual and this is uh, mostly going to be felt in those very windy areas as well as anywhere we'll, uh, which will likely be experienced in those overcast skies and even some rainfall activity and uh, euro is pretty much in agreement with this and showing that cool down lasting throughout much of the week for most of the caribbean islands so now i mentioned it earlier that there may be some increased rainfall activity across parts of the northeastern Caribbean. So this is a forecast for Wednesday and we're looking at the average precipitation rate. So those green and even yellow, orange and red areas indicate all that rainfall activity. Now there we're seeing that L and that value uh, showing the pressure of the system up there and there's the associated frontal system all that activity moving through so as we're going to be heading towards thursday take a look at this we're seeing all of this rain expected in the eastern caribbean islands puerto rico and much of the leeward islands and this persists through the day there's that area of low pressure further up north and that front extending into the caribbean and as i showed you at the start of the video it's going to be this reason why much of these saharan dust cannot just enter the caribbean or move through to the west as quickly but once the system dissipates if, if there's a lot of dust out there and that air uh, high pressure reinforces then we would certainly have some more plumes to deal with in the caribbean region but of course i'm here to keep you posted on what is happening and i really hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions do feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise